Watching out for you, you sons of bitches. Okay, apparently we're actually fine. Oh god, okay, this place isn't fine though. Oh god. There we go. Okay, well that actually worked out. One annoying thing is that I tried, the reason why it's like, Turner, why didn't you shoot that thing earlier? Is because I tried to stasis and then I realized a little bit too late that I'm actually out of stasis right now. So uh, that didn't work out, but I was like, God damn it, I'm not gonna waste my precious plasma cutter ammo. Stop kicking the bat around, Jesus Christ, Isaac. I wasn't gonna waste my precious plasma cutter ammo on a black necromorph, so that's why we have the Ripper, I guess. The nice thing about the plasma, the pulse rifle too, is that when we get it, we'll have so many n nodes for upgrading it that we can just like probably upgrade the damage all the way right away. Come any closer, and and I'll shoot you. Give me the access codes to the cargo bay. You idiot! This is processing. Why the hell would I have codes to the cargo? Don't lie to me. I'm sick of everyone lying to me. It is imperative that I get the marker. Give me those codes. I don't have them. Is this what you did to the captain? <laughs> Give me those game genie codes so I can beat this game! Idiot! It's the only way to stop it! The only way to end it! He's completely lost it. Somebody call security! Hmm. Someone tells me Dr. Kine actually wasn't on the same side as everyone else as far as, like, wanting the necromorph outbreak to happen. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these things are so frickin' creepy. My god. What a horrible, horrible fate that is. It'd be one thing turning into a necromorph, but, like, these guys look like they actually have, like, some, like, sense of what's what they've become. Whereas I feel like the necromorphs are probably just, they're mindless monsters at that point. Anyway, uh, this place doesn't look fun, so let's actually give our game a quick, uh, quick little save. Well, this guy screams his guts out here. Let's put him out of his misery. There we go. One thing to note, you actually don't get anything for shooting those things. So don't bother wasting your ammo hoping that you'll get a drop or anything. Because you don't get anything, unfortunately. So uh, just <laughs> you have to leave them to suffer, basically. Okay, let's take this thing. Oh, God. So yeah, this corridor is basically one big shoot 'em up section because these things are going to be constantly just spawning out of the walls around you and shooting you, unfortunately. Thankfully, there's uh, they're actually really easy to kill because just a single plasma cutter shot is enough to do them in, if you can even see where they are. There's also loot all around you, so just keep that in mind and just keep a constant lookout around you. That was a really good shot and dodge I just did. That was a Han Solo style. It's weird how they explode even after you shoot them too. Okay, but we just dealt with everything, thank god. Let your tools do the talking. Oh, Isaac Clark does. Isaac Clark does. Uh, sweet. Um... Open sesame? Isaac? What the? <gasps> Nicole! Is that really you? Yes! It feels like it's been so long. How the hell did you get here? But I can help you now. Come with me. Well, sweet! Well, that's actually the most positive thing that's happened to us so far, so that's a pretty good thing. <clears throat> okay, let's get this loot and see Nicole, finally. Stop. The beacons in the storage room next to you. I think okay. I disable the lock from here. Hold on. 
Uh, cool. You do your thing. Computer hacking expert girlfriend. Uh, what more can I ask for? That doesn't sound good. Okay, so here's your typical uh, pr protect mission where basically you're going to have to protect Nicole on the other side of this um, trench right here. Um, I don't know why she just doesn't jump across after she finishes hacking that thing, but basically we're going to have to deal with all of these necromorphs that are going to spawn. And we are still stasisless, so keep that in mind because I don't even think we've seen a single freaking stasis charger in this place, unfortunately. It's crazy how efficient our plasma cutter is, though, because... Oh, God. I didn't actually mean to shoot that. It's a good thing Nicole is apparently immune to explosions, otherwise that would have murdered her right there. Oh god, they actually the lurker actually fired at her. And she does have a rig health bar, as you can see. So I can't get over to you, but I'll find a way. Love you too, sweetheart. This will all be over soon. Okay, well, stay safe. Oh, that was disappointing. I've seen some hilarious moments where she just plows right through all the necromorph ragdolls, and it's really funny. Unfortunately, that wasn't as funny as I've seen it happen before. But hey, Nicole's all right, and it's kind of weird how she just left, uh, the, left though. You'd think she'd want to join us right away, or at least have us by her side, but... Hey, she stayed alive for this long, so I guess she knows what she's doing. Anyway, here is the SOS beacon. Isaac. Hey, I lost your signal for a while. You had me worried. I see you've got oh, the really? Beacon, so head for the mining bay and attach it to the asteroid. That's weird. I've been running trajectory calculations, and if we launch soon, there's a good chance the asteroid can reach a safe distance to begin transmitting. Still no sign of Hammond. Damn. State, I can't imagine he's still alive. No, probably not. Anyway, so here's a large med pack, and here is the level four suit. Right smack dab in a in a location like right where the objective objective is, which is nice. In Dead Space 2, they actually hide suits in alternate in usually in areas that like aren't or are off the beaten path. Um but I believe that it's the same thing, where if you miss a suit, it'll probably add it back to the store, probably like a chapter later. Not that I would know, because I've never missed anything. Anyway, let's get... Okay, that explosive barrel actually did nothing for that guy. Okay, that is a really deceptive range that this thing has then, because I wasn't actually able to shoot that thing from this distance with the Ripper. There we go. Oh god, that actually hit us. That's really unfortunate. That really sucks that we got we got hit by that explosion because that did a large chunk of damage because it's an explosion. Oh Jesus! Why? Easy peasy. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. That's really necessary at this point. Um. Uh, let's, let's use a medium. I, I think it's unnecessary to use a large, unless we're at red health. Feels like a waste otherwise. Oh god! That, uh, that one actually caught me! Usually it's pretty obvious when they're playing dead, but that one actually got me. It was a security lockdown, although I don't think it helped them. Now that you've got the beacon and the key, head over there. It looks like the asteroid is held in place by some gravity tethers. 
You have to knock those out before you can launch it. Okay, let's actually head all the way back up this shaft to the very tip top so we can head back to the bench and uh, and, and to the store. Because we actually have a full inventory right now. And we gotta buy that suit. Mm -mm. I am waiting for you suckers. I know you want to come down. Oh, Isaac Clark's ready. <laughs> Can't you see my unwavering aim? Okay. Well, again, I'm surprised they resisted the urge to attack us, but whatever, I can't complain. Okay, well... Looks like uh, one thing that's nice in this series, that, uh, or in this game specifically, um, Necromorphs really don't like actually heading to the hub area or where, like, the main hub of each chapter. They actually don't like going there. So, uh, you're usually safe in these areas, which is nice. Um, we're actually low on plasma energy, though. Uh, I believe we have some in our inventory, though. Uh, there we go. Uh, here, let's actually buy, um, one, two, three worth. There we go. Move that, sell that, and sell that, and sell that. And you know what, actually, I think I, I think I'm actually going to finally uh, sell the Ripper completely and totally. So let's sell all those Ripper Blades and sell our Ripper, because I just, I don't know, I'm just really not feeling it. So we have n almost 90,000 credits, which is sexy, uh, but first off, before we do, before we buy, uh, buy a, a pulse rifle, let's actually buy the level 4 suit. And suit up! Oh god, it burns! Please stop it, please! Oh god, it burns! Just fine. Yeah, this rig is really cool. I know, I mean, it pretty much looks identical to all the rigs we've been wearing, but I don't know. It just, each one looks a little bit more hardcore than the last, which is pretty cool um, in this game. Anyway, so now, uh, now with that out of the way, let's, um, wow, we have a lot of large med packs. Let's, uh, tell you what, let's sell two of these, and, ah, oh, so close, um, let's, uh, here, I actually have an idea, here, let's, uh, buy the pulse rifle, then buy, uh, pulse rounds, we'll buy two pul sets of pulse rounds, and then five power notes, <laughs> there we go. Okay, now let's head right to the shop, or to the bench, and actually allocate all of these nodes onto this thing. And uh, with 10 power nodes, I'm pretty sure we're actually going to be able to get its damage maxed, or at least close to max. So, uh, one thing to note about the Pulse Rifle's damage is that it's actually... I, I did some digging. Um, I'll be fully honest, I actually did some digging. And the damage that the Pulse Rifle does is extremely minuscule when you uh, first get it, but with all of its upgrades... Uh, basically, it will do half the damage of a single plasma cutter shot, except it's a rapid fire. <laughs> it's a rapid fire gun that can hold like almost 200 ammo in one clip with fully up, fully upgraded. So it just it's really good in this game. Unfortunately, it's not nearly as good um, in Dead Space 2, and it's not a very good weapon unless you really like pour all of these nodes into it. But hey, if we're not if we we're not going to be upgrading the plasma cutter more, we don't need kinesis module. Stasis is already crazy good in this game, so I feel like the pulse rifle like it just seems like a no brainer. So let's do it. <laughs> and uh, um, I'm just trying to think how we map it out. In fact, I think actually for this one you actually have to get every single node to upgrade this thing. I don't think you can actually map out a path for this one. Um, oh, I, actually you can. You don't have to go 
you have right here. And yeah, so this node is a dud. Um, this one's required. Yeah, I think this actually might be the only dud node in the whole thing, actually. Um, anyway, uh, so there. That's already the pulse rifle almost nearly upgraded, which is good. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's leave because we have no more nodes. We just spent ten of them. Anyway, let's actually look at the, uh, look at the pulse rifle for once and yeah, look at this thing. 125 shots too, which is really good, so we'll definitely give that a try. And also, one thing to note is that, uh, ammo in the clip is separate from ammo in your inventory, so that's 125 bullets in our actual clip on top of the 50 that we have in our inventory. Uh, as well as the fact, getting a capacity upgrade, similar to getting a rig upgrade, which increases your health all the way, if you have one shot left in your pulse rifle and you upgrade it, uh, upgrade its capacity, it'll get a full clip completely free. So you can also use that, like, I'd say that's not nearly as important as the rig uh, upgrading, getting your health back, but if you're crazy ammo, like, thinking that far ahead as far as ammo management is concerned, then that's another pro tip to keep in mind, is that you get a full clip from upgrading your capacity. Anyway, let's head down to mining and uh, maybe try out a new pulse rifle if we get the chance. While being wary of these vents. Because you know they're going to come into play.